Will you kindly place your attention upon not only your mighty I am presence, but upon the heart flame of one who has led us through times past and continues to lead us into the future. Beloved Godfrey. Yes, I am Godfrey, and I stand before you to anoint each one in the fullness of the understanding, wisdom, and knowledge of their mighty I am presence. For yes, you, beloved, have the anointing of your own God presence, of your own individuality, of the God that you are, that burns upon the altar of your heart. But it is most necessary indeed for you to understand this and for you to begin to wear that mantle, for you to understand that for the fullness of the light of God that never fails to manifest in your life, you must internalize that reality. You must clear the vision. There must be sufficient violet flame in your life so that your vision will be that of truth, that of the understanding of the truth that reigns supreme throughout cosmic law. There are those teachings and instruction that come forth throughout the ages that you recognize they have stood the test of time. You understand well that if you move to the right or the left of those teachings, that you will reap the consequences and have the karma to bear. Understand well, beloved, that as you internalize more of your own God presence, wearing the mantle of your holy Christ self, you will have that Christ discrimination as you invoke the violet flame to cleanse the lens of perception of your own mind, emotions, and the physical body, you will wear the body temple of the Holy Christ Self, and you will understand how the radiance of the mind of God may shed light upon those areas of life that heretofore have been confusing, confounding, and a matter of your own misinformation that you have allowed to move to the tone and to the beat. Understand well, beloved, that as you have perceived life, you have moved in that direction. It is only with the understanding of the I am that I am that the light of God can move in your life. As you understand more of the teachings, so will you raise up more of the light, the torch that you carry to guide, guard, and direct those who know not of the teachings, who know not of the instruction of the light of God, and bring them into the fullness of that understanding. This vehicle, the activity of the ascended masters of the temple, we have labored long and hard to bring about. For you must understand, beloved, that the dispensations required for an ascended master activity to hold fast and to hold to the cosmic law and cosmic truth that the ascended masters desire to release require that the vehicles of the messengers be prepared. And we have such messengers, but it is a to you to take that teaching and the instruction and to weave the organization of the activity so that it will be the chalice to hold the fire, the light, and the determination of the ascended masters to be released into the earth and to spread that instruction and teaching the earth round so that all might have greater opportunity. 
It is not been without great labor and love of all of the ascended masters, most especially that of El Moria, Saint Germain, the Mahachohan, beloved Lanello, and yes, my own flame, to stand with each one who comes forth to bring them that instruction and that teaching through this activity. We move many mountains of adversity to have those precious life streams come forward and to receive this instruction, to clear the deck of all that is opposed to the light being released, to move into those areas of adversity so that there might be dispersed upon the screen of life any opposition to the Christ stepping forth for the sons and daughters of God and the earth to know the true identity of the I am. Understand, beloved, that as you become the Christ, as you determine for yourself the fullness of this light, you will be the one, each one individually, to move mountains of adversity so that many are the thousands that will come forth and bring forth the golden age. Saint Germain has already professed its victory. Well, I tell you, I, Godfrey, will stand with Saint Germain until such victory is won. And I will likewise stand with the temple of the presence and each one of you to proclaim your victory and to raise up those sanctuaries of light and those edifices to hold the many who will come forth and to bring into the anchoring the light the fire and the instruction that is so prevalent upon not only my heart, but those of the ascended masters, and most especially Saint Germain, that will carry the truth of the law, will shine as a beacon to bring forth the sons and daughters of God, so that you, beloved, will be God victorious. You will balance an enormous amount of your own karma as your efforts of raising the torch high to bring forth this light. Yes, it is good karma indeed that balances the bad karma that you have sown in the earth. Those things that you have miscalculated through misconception and misperception of the light. Yes, beloved, you have thought just like many who are on the earth this day that you have known what was the right course in times past. But I am here to tell you, as you continue to give the violet flame and your calls to the mighty I am presence as you have been, you will continue to understand those areas of right, those areas of truth, and those areas of cosmic law that you will desire to embody. It is no longer a question in your life when you understand what is the right course. You put away those areas of the human creation, those areas of the out of alignment and undisciplined physical and emotional bodies that do not hold fast to the law. You, beloved, will continue to desire the light of God to be where you are. As you put your attention and the focus of your mind, your emotions, and your physical attention upon those areas of life that hold fast to the law, know well, beloved, that the heart always reveals to you the vibration of that which is true and just. And when you have put into the flame all of the human desires, the human momentums, you will have left the reverberation of the tone of your mighty I am presence sounding through the heart, receiving the light the instruction, the unconditional love, the power of God and wisdom's flame 
to guide, guard, and direct you into the right course of action, not only for your life stream, but for the activity of the temple. And this is why I have come, for I desire all to know that the full weight of my own momentum of victory as I delivered a message from Saint Germain and the Ascended Masters to anchor the I am in the earth, that I place that full momentum and weight behind the temple of the presence and these messengers so that they might be God victorious in fulfilling that which is the mandate of the entire spirit of the Great White Brotherhood to bring forth the fullness of Saint Germain's golden age. Yes, beloved. You may realize within your own lifetime an increment of that golden age. It is not too early to consider that the light of God as it is manifest through the Holy Christ self of one individual is anchoring a point of light of the golden age that reverberates throughout the earth and continues to knit together the Antikorana of light that will heretofore become the shining star the earth has been destined to fulfill. I, Godfrey, Seal each one in the fullness of the momentum of my determination for the will of God and the anchoring of purity's ray and the earth so that you might have the opportunity to fulfill your own divine mission and destiny and bring forth the ascension at the close of this life so that you will stand God free forever. I thank you and I seal you in purity's ray in the violet flame and in the all-powerful will of God. Before the sealing of our service, I would have you understand the heart of Godfrey and indeed the heart of his twin flame, which is so very much akin to his own heart, that of beloved Lotus. If you were going into a crisis in your life and you were choosing up sides, you'd want to pick Godfrey before the other side did. Never has there been such a mighty champion for the right. Simply because he is an ascended master now and obliged to use other forms of spiritual weaponry does not in any way mitigate the intensity of his heart in devotion to this cause. And as your cause is your ascension, as your cause is his cause, the work of the brotherhood, and as you see that that work is being uh, pictured through the temple of the presence, you can begin to understand that Beloved Godfrey and our own beloved Lotus are spoiling to enter into the arena of action in this world. This is an impulse that is as close to their own hearts as anything could ever be. This work, which we are carrying on, and I'm, as I'm sure those of you who are students know, that we are very much drawing the line of truth as St. Germain laid it out through beloved Godfrey's messengership. So you are reminded and invited to avail yourself of this great champion of your cause, the cause of your presence, and this great champion in the cause of this activity. Whether it be the need for La Chapelle for all of the expansion that is required for the White Temple. These things are within our reach when you avail yourself in your calls of this mighty twin flame action of beloved Godfrey and Lotus. We are eternally grateful for the 
momentum of their attainment that they bring to bear. It is an attainment of a white blade of fearlessness that does not countenance any force in opposition to the light, does not give quarter to any appearance less than perfection, that is absolutely stainlessly fearless in the face of whatever forms of opposition might rear up as personal crises in your own life, as well as opposition to your heart's flame and your devotion and heart's desire for this activity, the temple. So I'm going to invite you now to stand as we avail ourselves of this proffered hand of assistance on the heart of beloved Godfrey. In the name of the threefold flame of love, wisdom, and power ablaze now upon this altar here at Cor de Leon, in the name of our mutual sponsors and gurus, beloved Saint Germain, beloved Maha Chohan and Pallas Athena, beloved Master El Moria, we accept your assistance on our behalf, beloved Godfrey. We send you forth now to bring about those changes of condition which you know so very well within your heart of hearts and the all-seeing eye that God has bestowed upon you in the conditions that are there for us to achieve within this activity, the Temple of the Presence. We ask for the full gather momentum of that magnificent supply that is part of the collective causal body action of the entire spirit of the Great White Brotherhood, that this shall come into the physical swiftly with divine direction and God's speed, that we might rear up this tabernacle in the wilderness, this tabernacle in the desert of Fleur de Lee Chapelle here at the Heart Center, that we might have a place to hold our fireside chats, a place to conduct our quarterly conferences for the time being, a place to conduct our month-long and three-month sessions of Acropolis Sophia, where we might magnetize and train and send forth the future generations of light bearers who are waiting in the wings for their opportunity to take center stage in the world arena of world service on behalf of the Great White Brotherhood. We accept your assistance, beloved Godfrey. We welcome the shield and sword and spear that you wield, as well as that of your own beloved twin flame, and that of our own friend and brother, beloved Lanello. We thank you, and we accept it done by the power of the mighty I Am Presence, which is the power of the light of God that never, never, never fails. Amen.